I mean, even if you're fairly smooth with the sticks. Still jerks around quite a bit, but I mean, that's something you can deal with. Um, like I said the other day on my other video, for search and rescue, for finding a dead deer, no problem. Um, for chasing a guy through the seat, the uh, alleys and streets and around objects, you know, might be a little tougher. Chasing a moving animal or something like that, that would be tough. But overall, I don't think it's really an issue. So, and you see, I'm just following this road right here. So I'm going to come back this way. So if I follow this road, you just kind of got to cheat the wind a little bit based on which way it's blowing. Car coming. I'm going to follow these tracks. So if we were looking for, you know, a certain train or somebody on a train or around buildings, I mean, I'm at 260. A lot of light still. They, they saw the light, maybe. So I've had that light on most of the time, running up and down these tracks, and uh, I don't even know how long it's lasted, but I'm not exactly sure. What's up, what's up? I know, I saw, it was like, he's the only car. How you doing? Yeah, nice to meet you. Um... Pretty good. Yeah. I've been uh, flying, following the ra the tracks, and um, try the. If you're trying to follow something quickly, then obviously the gimbal syncing does yeah. work better. Um, I also noticed, and I did turn off gimbal syncing and turn it back on, so I'm not sure what that does exactly, but 
Um, so like you can see right there, you know, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Um, so what if you, what if you, you got a different type of light up there or what if you got? No, this is, this, this is this menu. Okay. I didn't know it was there either. <laughs> you have no idea what I don't know. About. Yeah, there's a lot to learn, and 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 like I just happened to find it, and then I go back and look at videos. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. <laughs> so, because I was looking for gimbal syncing, and there was some. I think I found a reference to it or something somewhere. Um, and that's what that button is, right? So, or that's own. This is all. Okay. I don't know what this one does. I can't get it to do anything. Oh, wait. Oh, if you... Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. So if you turn the gimbal syncing off, you can control the angle yourself. That's not bad. It's a little... Let's see if I can... No. Okay, there's not... You can't do that. Um, so now let's try this. Um, there you go. Yeah, so just double tap on the screen and it points. So you remember on your pen, you can do a face where it, it I forget what the, it, the title is, but it's face of pen. Oops, that's fine. So, click this one, and then viewing pinpoint. And it points to that pin. Viewing pinpoint. Okay. Um. So, I think it's just working. Same feature, you know. Yeah. Kind of cool. Yeah, it's cool. So, someone was telling me. Someone responded to a YouTube video, and I'd tried this before. I'd used this. I was like, yeah, what's the practical use of that? Let's say you have a moving target. That doesn't really help you other than to, so. Come on. I don't want too far. So you can do that if you're just like for falling something on the ground or something of that yeah. nature. Well, um, it's a lot easier to point and follow something than a little bit. Then yeah, I mean if you once you get used to just and the thing is is yawing and gimbling, I can follow an animal and be pretty smooth yeah. about that. Um, just note where these wires are yeah. right above me, uh -huh. and then going diagonal over there. Okay. So we approach from that side. You know, we're pretty safe. Yeah. Once it gets dark, it's just... Are you catching every time? I don't always do that. Um, but I don't want to land in the dirt, and I don't really... I'm not really going to get my, my landing pad out. Yeah. Yeah, if they're running from you, it really makes it hard. <laughs> Actually, these guys seem to be just running around, kind of playing in the field, sort of. Let's see if I can get a get eyes. So your the fields are they looking that red? They're just looking a little bit red. Mine are, mine's a little more pink. Go to your, um, see your, sh so go to your chimp palette. Go a little slot, the little chimp, the little color slider. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So your own chimp. So go to the isotherms. Make sure you don't have anything turned on there. What is that? 
the little thermometer looking thing to the right. Oh, I'll turn that off. Turn it off. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Now go back to that. See what I'm telling you? I think when you do that, you're filtering out a lot of good information. Yeah. So now go, and now that should calm your colors down a little bit. Look at that. Yep. Oh, okay, right. good. I knew it looked different when I was putting it over your shoulder. Yeah, it's still frustrating. Though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I really feel like, now granted, your target market is not as huge when you're catering to or filming for people that have these as opposed to just pure entertainment, which anybody would watch, but... I mean, there's a bunch of thermal drone operators out there, and they're all hungry for information on how to do this. Yeah, and and I found that out, and I'm so I'm just always trying to look for opportunities to, you know, learn stuff, stay ahead, share it, yeah. you know. And I get why some people that are you know making a business out of it wouldn't want to necessarily share a ton of information, but. The thing is, is I'm not competing. Uh, if if there's a hundred people with a drone like this in Alabama or whatever, you know what I mean. I'm not compete, competing with every one of them. You know what I mean. Right. And the thing is, is I I trust my skills and my ability to learn and be good mm -hmm. at things and and stick with it and um, also not crash. Uh, yeah, I can see the drone right over there. Yeah. You can see it, right? Mm -hmm. Let's get an idea. That is quite a few of them. Um, I think those are cows. Let's see. They're pretty wide. Uh, Let's do this in this time. Yes. I did get off a little bit. Let's see. Uh oh. No, those are deer. That's all deer. Those look at them right. Holy smokes. Yeah. Well, that's the whole area's whole population. Way. Yeah. That's Holy like moly. 20 deer. That's 20 deer, yeah. Uh oh. No, those are deer. That's all deer. Those look at them right. Holy smokes. Yeah. Well, that's the whole area's whole population. Yeah. Holy moly. That's 20 deer. That's 20 deer, yeah. Uh, yeah. Those look at them right. Yeah. All right. Out here doing some more light testing. It is not quite dark. Um, I am just testing a few things. So that's normal mode. So then I was trying uh, tripod mode. And I think if you fly smooth enough, you know, you'd be okay. Um, but if you really want it to be nice, maybe tripod mode's the way to go. But it's also kind of slow. sport uh, there's a little bit of wind uh, right to left this altitude see so as you can see and bugs even at this altitude Alright, so now let's check. 
if we go back to normal. Now I'm going to turn gim gimbal linkage off. And I'm going to just see what it looks like. So now you can see I can move the camera without moving the light. Now, you still have to fly very smooth. I can turn that back on. I can look where I want it to be. Turn that off. Now, of course, now that I'm pitched, the camera's going to be down. All right, so back in. All right, so when I'm not moving, obviously my light's going to be out ahead of me. So we might need to kind of correct for that. Okay, so let's try a 25. Now I'm still in normal mode. Gimbal sync. Oops, hang on. Gimbal, yeah, gimbal sync is off. So now I'm going to. I'm going 20. I guess you're going to get the exaggerated movement from the light. Let's see if it's worse or better. Okay, so gimbal sync is back on. I've just accelerated forward. I'm going backwards. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not as bad with the gimbal sync on. I am at 250. That's weird. It's really odd. Not sure what this shaking of the camera is. When I break or when I just let go of the stick. Hmm. That's odd. See that weird movement? Makes me wonder if that's a function of the light making quick movements and shaking the whole body of the drone and transmitting that through the gimbal to the camera. I mean, let's try to let's try to stop smooth and just see that makes any difference still now I am in sport so let's go back to normal Still a weird little hitch. Strange. <laughs> 